Okay, um, problem 2.6. Let's just discuss how we can solve this problem. It says two forces are applied to the construction bracket as shown, F1 and F2, at specific angles. Determine the angle theta, which makes the resultant of the two forces vertical. Okay, so, we, so we're applying these two forces, but we want the resultant of these to be only vertical, meaning there's going to be no resultant horizontal component. Okay? So, and then determine the magnitude of the resultant. Okay, so... Basically, what we can say is that this F1 vector plus F2 should give us a resultant, okay? But we know that this resultant only has a Y component. So this actually is equal to RYJ, right? It's, it's, there's no X component because it says we need to find this angle so that the resultant of these two forces is only vertical, so it only has a y component. So let's break up this guy F1 into its vector f um, into i's and j's. How's it going to work? Okay, so in the x direction we're going to have 800 cos of 70, and it's going to be plus. Okay, so this is F1 now, 800 cos of 70 i and then what is the y? It's going to be minus 800 sine of 70 j. So this is the this is fx i and that's f well it's f1x and that's f1yj. And what about this guy? I'm just going to write it below here. So that's going to be minus 4 to 5 cos of theta in the i direction or x direction minus 4 to 5 sine theta j. Okay, so we've just written these vectors out is equal to then r y j. Okay, so, by the way, what's Rx? Rxi, that is just zero, right? Just putting that there. So, now let's group like terms. Let's, let's, let's look at what's happening in the x direction. We can say 800 cos of 70 degrees. Okay, and then this one is also in the s, so it's minus 425 cos theta is equal to zero. Does that make sense? So the x component here plus the x component here is equal to the x component here. And the x component is zero. So there immediately you can solve for theta because you've got one unknown. And what's happening in the y direction? We're having minus 800 sine of 70 minus 425 sine theta, but now we have an unknown, or y. We've got these two unknowns. But we can solve for theta in this equation, plug it into this equation, and solve for r, the magnitude of that resultant.